Hey guys, hey, what is going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Gary here. For any new subscribers here, what is popping off? Today is going to be an exciting video of a bomb tutorial part two, black owned makeup brands, and that is on period. Um, in today's video, there is gonna be a giveaway. I actually forgot to do this in my full face of Fenty, which I was so annoyed about, but that was the video where I was announcing the charity bags. So guys, look at all these Fenty goodies. I've got so many. Um, I'm gonna be announcing this at the end of the video so definitely stay tuned to watch how you can win all these fancy bronzers and blushes which i'll be giving out so if you want to see this bomb tutorial keep on watching <laughs> Okay, okay, so welcome back. Can we talk about, so this is girl hating on me and she's been hating on me for a few days. She came up unannounced. It's this bitch right here. I'm not sure what her name is, but she's been just around the area for a few days and I just don't like her. So we're gonna have to cover her. So I've decided to do a bomb tutorial part two, black on makeup brush just because I just feel like it's the right time to do it. Um, obviously, you guys know what's going on in the world. If you don't, definitely check my Sip and Slate episodes, which dropped on Friday. They're going to be every Friday. So if you guys know, I upload now um, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if something's very popping and important, I'll upload it during with, within those days. Um, okay, so let's begin. Um, I'm not sure where to begin, actually. So I actually bought some new Danessa Myricks products. So the first one I got was Illuminating Veil that looks like that. Oh, hi, YouTube trick. Yes, me. But um, yeah, I got that and um, this is in the shade Desire. I know a little bit goes a long way because I literally like um, was putting on some yesterday and I was like, oh my God. So I'm literally gonna highlight Thrum Within. If you guys can hear that noise, my, um, I'm not hot. It's basically, I'm drinking this. It's from After Hours. If you guys um, watched my Sip and Slate on Friday, which was 30 minutes, and thank you guys so much for watching it. Um, it's the it's the Ciroc um, alcohol slushy. It's a Saturday, guys. I'm treating myself. And um, I normally have my Sunday's videos pre-filmed, but this week I've just been so tired. To everyone that um, ordered their charity bags, everything's been shipped now. So you should have got a UPS notification. Oh, this is so pretty, it's so nice. I'm actually gonna use a blender just to blend that in also. But this shade is popping. So that liquid highlight is so nice. You only need a tiny bit, it's actually beautiful. The Danessa does so many shades. Um, If you guys remember, I'm gonna link my um first black on makeup tutorial in the box somewhere up here. So make sure you click it. So I use this in my last tutorial and this is her Vision Cream cover, which is amazing. But for some reason on the website, um, it looks darker than it is. So I got N10, which was far too dark for me. But if you guys are looking to get her foundation, um, Guru Makeup Emporium stock her. And I'm sure she does samples as well on her own website. But um, I actually ordered it from there because they do next day delivery and I got these. And she, they actually do samples of her foundation, which is such a brilliant idea. They cost about four pounds or five pounds. You get them in this. So you can definitely test out the colors and I'm so glad I did. Looking at it, I can definitely see that I'm gonna like this shade. And this is the Vision Cover Cream Sample in um, W06. I've got some neutral ones as well, which I do like a neutral foundation. This looks a tiny bit gray, but um, W07 looks a tiny bit dark. I don't know, let's just, let's just swatch Warm 06. So this is warm. Uh, mm, that is very warm actually. Hold on, let me try Warm 07. Shit, that is dark. Okay, these are like concealers. So I'm gonna use 06, and then I'm just gonna blend that out. These are really good. These are like concealers. I might buy some more to use as concealers. I wish I bought a lighter shade. So I'm gonna use W06, and then a little bit goes a long way with this foundation, guys. I'm gonna use a Fenty sponge just to blend that in. As you can guys see, this foundation is hella full coverage. And guys, we hit 30K subscribers. I know obviously that's not a big number to some people, but I feel like I've been in like the 20 range for ages. It's, it's, it's my own fault to be fair. Like I wasn't that consistent on YouTube. Um, every time I upload a video, I'd go missing for a few weeks, but I'm really, really like at the moment. And like, I actually didn't know I was close to 30K until one of my subscribers told me. And I was just like, oh my God, I wasn't even looking. I was just like, you know, putting out content that I really love. So I'm actually just enjoying it. Hopefully we can hit like 50K by the end of the year, fingers crossed, but you know, whatever happens, I'm in no rush, but um. Guys, here to see the coverage of the foundation. W06 is definitely a better match, but um, hopefully when this um, lockdown is over, I can pop a, like go to the shop and see 
um, all of her stuff, but she does so many stuff. I've got so many new stuff here from her. And I've got her powder, and I've got some lipsticks to show you guys. This tutorial is just gonna be so cute. This spot is really upsetting me and my homegirls. Well, if you can't record on YouTube, then why the hell can you go? Not this. No, I'm joking. So the foundation looks on. This color is amazing. W07. It's so nice. I like this idea. I wish this would be amazing for traveling because it's so full coverage. You actually don't need a lot. Such a perfect color. The other one was way too dark for me. Like it looked like a contour on my face, but we move. Concealer. I have to use a Pat McGrath. Um, I've got 20 and 21. 20 is a bit more pinky. So when I got it, I was a bit upset, but I'm going to use 22. Um, I love this concealer so much. I just feel like it's so different to the foundation. But um, have you guys been anyway? And the giveaway, if you're actually watching till the end, won't be nothing too mad. I want it to be so simple and I want it to be like a cute giveaway. Um, it's obviously going to be open internationally because obviously when I was shipping everyone's packages, I just found such a quick way to ship um, to the US and obviously to anywhere really and and like obviously everyone was like i'm actually i'm so happy everyone liked their packages but i'm not gonna lie guys shipping all those packages was hard obviously i live by myself i packed all of them by myself um printing off the labels i wrote everyone an individual note to say thank you it was it was obviously worth it i think obviously doing it as well was very therapeutic just because you know when i actually picked up a pen and paper i actually thought when was the last time my lazy ass wrote a damn note to someone i don't use i don't use a pen i actually don't use a pen but i used to love writing but sis i'm gonna use a color drain sponge to blend out this concealer I actually might leave it to set for a bit because um this concealer um it is matte it's very different to the foundation it's got more of like a demi matte finish but sometimes i like to let it sit but just i might just blend it out now this concealer is so nice. Um, I do wish the component was a bit bigger though, but Pat McGrath has just been killing it. I really want to get her new Divine Rose palette, but I think it's sold out. Um, I thought I would have got it in PR, but I never. And I'm, I normally don't mix um, jewelry like silver and gold, but um, these are from my girl called Shadeen. She's a black owned business. Um, if you guys are based in the UK, actually she ships everywhere, but guys, she does the most amazing jewelry. When you guys have seen me those, those chunky bracelets, they're from her, so I have to give a, a huge shout out to her because she sent me these as a gift. I have bought from her already. I bought my own stuff from her, but then she sent me these as a gift because when I first contacted her about rings, I actually inquired about these and she didn't have them, so she actually sent me them as a gift and I was like, she's so sweet. She actually helped me send some of your packages because I was like, babe, how can I send packages to the US like safely and securely? And she actually actually taught me how to use UPS online and it was just so good so big shout out to her so um a concealer's on it looks really nice um I'm trying to think should I use one of her darker foundations I'll also use the Danessa Mybex cream bronzer before I powder bronze so I'm gonna use the cream bronzer because it's like one of my favorites um it's been used and abused he's terrible your honor he's really terrible so I'm trying to think what brush to use Okay, I'm gonna use a foundation brush. This is one from Smashbox. If anyone knows any amazing um, black owned brush companies, please let me know. I think it's hard to do brushes, especially good ones, because I'm not gonna lie guys, obviously like, I'm not all, I like, I'm all for like, you know, saving the animals, but I actually love a natural hairbrush. Obviously, I think you can get, you can, obviously you can get natural hairbrushes without hurting animals, right? So that, like, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but um, um I feel like sometimes, Synthetic brushes just can be a tiny bit mad, but I think a lot of people do amazing synthetic brushes But if you know any black owned makeup brush companies, let me know Obviously, I've got some beauty bakery ones, but I haven't got the full range and also guys I just want to say a lot of you guys commented saying why you're apologizing for making that sound and I wasn't apologizing like that But you're right if you guys don't like the sound that I make then you can start watching the damn blood clot video. Anyways. Because I'm not gonna change what I do for someone. If you don't like it, don't like it. It's like when you watch someone or watch a music video. If you don't like it, you just honestly switch off. No one's forcing you to watch me. Obviously, I like you guys watching me, but if, I, if I'm obviously annoying you, then switch off. You know what I mean? I'm not forcing you to watch me, but if you wanna watch me, see it. <coughs> watch me. Watch me, but. What was that? What do you want from me? Oh my god, so I've got two bulbs there, yeah, and I don't, something just went, and it was one one of the lights have gone off, but when I say it's scared, I thought someone was coming from my door, so I was about to box someone down. Oh my god, that flipping scared me. You know what's really weird about living by yourself, yeah? Actually, what should I use to blend this out? I'm going to use a sponge. Um, like, changing bulbs. Like, obviously, I've always lived in, like, shared accommodations and stuff, and, like, 
just with like roommates and like someone else would always change a bulb. But guys, ordering bulb, it's like such an adult thing. And obviously, I remember when I was younger, yeah, I always wanted to like, you know, always say to my mom, oh, I can't wait to be an adult so I can have a mobile phone, so I can be a bad bitch. But and when you get older and you're an adult, adulting is so hard. Like, imagine the most simplest thing, like getting a bulb. Like, you have to Google where to get this bulb and have to order a bulb online because not everywhere sells this bulb. Like, how hard is that? Like, adult, being an adult is so hard, guys. But imagine the most simplest thing about ordering a bulb, and I just hate it, but... Oh, if I could be... Um, tw if, mm, if you guys could be at age again, what age would you be? I think I would be 23. Um, A lot of people said they'd want to be 16 or, like, 17. No, babes. I want to be over 21 because when my 20s, obviously my 20s were so freaking lit. They were so cute. So I'm actually loving the base. You can actually see that highlight kind of peeping through. I actually love that veil. So I'm actually gonna go in with my Fenty Translucent Powder, so bomb. I'm actually just gonna set under my eyes. I did this in my last Fenty video, I think. And I um, actually loved it. It was just so cute. I was meant to say something else that you guys commented. Also, in my sip and slay, I actually said that justice was served, but I do take that back. The guys, the police guys have been acquitted. So obviously justice will be served, if fingers crossed, if you know what I mean. But um, they've been acquitted. So apologies if I said something wrong. Well, not wrong, just the wrong information. But, you know, I meant to say they've been arrested, all four cops, which was about time to happen. But, um... I actually love this powder by Fenty. Um, if you guys haven't been on Instagram, if you, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at the plastic boy. I post in there quite a lot, but at the moment I haven't been posting in there too much. Um, Sharon, who's a powder, oh my, oh my God, I didn't use anything from all my beauty. I was supposed to use the palette. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, Sharon from Oma Beauty has done this thing called um, Stand Up or, what's it called? Stand Up, no, Pull Up or Shut Up. And it's where she asks brands to say how many black people they have working at their workplace. And it's such a good thing because you've got all these brands saying, yeah, Black Lives Matters, I'm here for it. But you don't have any black people that work in your office, sweetheart. Uh, how can you say that if you have no black people? A lot of brands really upset me. There's some brands where I'll just never buy from them again or use their products because... You lying, poo? You lying? Yes, ma'am. I'm actually gonna use this um, Dinner Samarix powder. It's called the Evolution powder, and it's in the shade. Sorry, you can see my armpits. <laughs> it's in the shade number three, and um, I've never used this, used this before. It's such a beautiful color. It's kind of like a golden orangey color. I'm really excited to use this. And you guys at the background, the background's kind of cute, right? I'm giving you like an orange moment, <laughs> popping on that melanin. So I'm gonna use my color drain sponge to put that on. Let's see this powder. This powder's nice. I know she does a few, she might do four shades, I think. This powder is bomb. <gasps> the Nessa Myrix isn't playing with you girls at all. It's beautiful. It's actually so beautiful. I was actually gonna use the Fenty one, but I actually forgot I had this and I bought it. It's beautiful. The sealer looks bomb. I'm actually gonna go into this Pat McGrath medium powder. It looks so light, but it actually doesn't apply that light on the um skin it's really nice just blurring at the eye but the Danessa Marix powder was so bomb like oh oh so I'm actually gonna use I actually didn't use it in my last video which I was really upset about and it's by Prime Beauty I love Prime Beauty so much sorry the, the um signs come up and this is in the shade Brownsville they do bronzers you can see used and abused hit almost hit pan love it so much I'm gonna use a Morphe E4 brush I'm literally just gonna pat this onto the skin they have a few shades i've got west is it called west coast or i can't what it's called but i know they do a lighter shade for a lighter skin tone and they do chocolatey which is more of a contour but chocolatey is such a beautiful shade like so nice i'm just pressing this i like what i like about this bronze again it's not too powerful like pigmented you can actually build it up quite nicely it's beautiful on, on the eyes and i just love the compact it feels just so luxurious and they're just doing their thing i know they released the eyeshadow palette but i actually got it and it broke when i was moving so i need to get another one um i've ordered some stuff from the lip bar can you guys please let me know some other brands i know you guys did in my last video but i tried to get the best bronzers but they don't deliver to the uk which is very annoying and i tried to get some oh my god guys i'm not sure who would do this i might actually have to ask one of my american followers i really want the cover girl concealers and if i ask one of you guys to order them for me can you please send them to me if i give you the money <laughs> i want the copper girl concealers so badly and no one no one sells them here in the uk i tried to go online to get them they don't ship to the uk maybe i should dm them but 
I really want those concealers so bad, but if one of my subscribers can get them for me, <laughs> but if not, I'll just have to wait till I go to the States or something, which will probably be like next year now. But how gorgeous that bronzer look. Oh, I actually forgot how much I love this bronzer. It's so nice. Ooh. Okay, so I'm not gonna use any eyeshadow palettes on my eyes today because I was actually Googling a lot of Dennis's products and a video came up and it's actually so weird because the video that popped up, it's this girl, her name is, I can't remember what her name is now, it's gonna go from my head, Stacy, and her name is Ace Taste Beauty. I'm gonna link her video down below and please show some love to her. She's beautiful, she's gorgeous. And she's one of the first people I met in the Mac Pro store when I went to the Mac Pro store. Like, I don't know, like, I always used to see one of these go to the Mac Pro store, she's so talented. But um, she was using these and I actually wanted to get them and she used the shade chocolate, I think. Was it chocolate or brownie? I think it might have been chocolate, but I'm not sure. But these are her color fits. You can use them on the lips, eyes, and cheeks, and it dries onto a matte finish. I'm gonna use, I might use chocolate, because I think that's what she used. And on the eyes, it looks so gorgeous. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how she applied it. I'm gonna put a bit on, so that's what it looks like there. Ooh, oh my God, this is gonna be a dark eye, which I'm not mad at. So um, I'm gonna take like a, ooh. The pigment is crazy, so I'm just gonna put some on. You need to check out this girl, her name's, uh, what's her name? Miss Sids, she's so funny. It was actually so weird because she commented on my XX, Revolu XX Revolution video and I was watching her video the other day where she was reviewing the NARS bronzer and another video, she, re she reviews a lot of Revolution stuff so I was watching it and she's just so funny. I'm not sure she's from Birmingham but she's got kind of an accent so I'm not too sure but Correct me if I'm not, but I'll link her video down below. She's black, she's so funny. Please check her out. She's just so funny, but this is nice. Ooh, oh my God, it looks, it's kind of got that kind of that warm, kind of mulberry kind of brown tone to it, which I love, which was what, what which what it was like on Stacey. So um, I'm actually really liking this. Um, I think they do dry down to a matte finish, so you have to work pretty, pretty fast. Danessa Myrick did that. This is kind of like a Aubrey color. It's so pretty, like insanely nice. What do you guys think? I'm just gonna do the under um, eye. Should I do the under eye now? Yeah, I'm gonna do the under eye. I really like this shade. These dry down super fast, by the way. That was the one I put on my hand. They dry down to a matte finish, so definitely work with them as quickly as you can so guys this tutorial when i did this, this is the best of background it's so grungy like i definitely took inspiration from stacy but hers looked so much better i just added some black eyeliner obviously i didn't have a black owned black eyeliner which i'm not sure why i don't so um i used another one but um, i actually really like the look it looks super grungy i think it kind of suits my hair but it's giving me kind of like goth vibes but i'm definitely gonna have to add some lashes i just feel like this color this needs like a lash, something that's looking, you know, like, mm, you know, what do you guys think? I actually love the base, you can see it coming through. I definitely want to try more of a lighter color, but I don't know, I just really like it. Like I never wear black in the waterline and I just feel like it looks so pretty. Look how quick it dries down. So I'm going to whack on some lashes. We can resume, we can resume. While my lashes dry anyway, I'm going to go in with this Fenty shadow called um, Six Smoky. I'm going to use this shade here. I'm literally just going to go over that black eyeliner because I find out some black eyeliners, I'm not sure if it's on deeper skin tones, it can be a bit gray. I think the blackest eyeliner I've ever tried was probably from, I'm not even sure, it probably was from MAC I think. But um, I feel like a lot of black eyeliners run blue on deeper skin tones, that's why I've never found a truly black liner. So I'm just pressing some of that shadow on. Okay, so this look turned out, I like it. But I feel like the background's giving me very mojito vibes, but we move anyway. I like it. I just feel like it's something very different. It's very sexy for me. And I don't really normally do dark eyes because I always get scared it's gonna make me feel tired. But I feel like if you've got the right concealer on, it can work. I'm gonna take some more Vanessa's powder and kind of just cut the cheek because I feel like my face is kind of lacking a bit of structure, but I really like this powder by Vanessa. It's really finely milled. It reminds me a lot of the Pat McGrath but not as, the papagraph isn't heavy, but it reminds me of that color wise, but also the texture of Sasha Buttercup, which I used to love that powder so much, but I finished it, but I just never really purchased it because I feel like it was really hard to get, but now I think you can get them in Boots or Superdrug, or it's very more accessible because that powder was kind of like an OG powder for the black girls and the black boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a motive. So I'm actually gonna take some of, um, Chocolate Litty from Prime Beauty. This bronze is a bit more 
got more of like it's kind of like darker but more on the cooler purple side so i'm just gonna give it to give more of like a contour kind of effect just so it blends in oh my god with that bronzer it's that damn alcohol blame it on the alcohol remember that song by jamie fox such a damn tune -o. whatever happened to jamie fox face is looking a bit a bit matte so i'm gonna use what to do by fenty I actually love this. I'm actually almost finishing, so I definitely need to like get a top up because this setting spray is so nice. So I'm just gonna take my fan. It always makes me sneeze. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so for blush, I was gonna go in with Rose Latte from Fenty, but I've kind of like almost kind of killed that blush because I use it so much and I do love it. So I'm gonna go with Coffee Cake from Vanessa Myricks. This is another one of her bases. I'm gonna use this on the lips as well. And um, this is such a pretty color. It's kind of like a, it actually looks like Rose Latte, but it's obviously a matte form. Um, it obviously dries matte, so I need to be careful on how I use it. Where's my mirror? Okay, so let's. Be careful in applying this. That's it kind of spread out there. And then I'm just gonna apply it on the cheeks. What's nice about this is that it um, dries to a matte finish. So, oh, that's nice. It's really nice. It's a really pretty color. It's kind of like, it reminds me of Taupe from MAC, but in like a liquid form or like a liquid to cream. But these are so pigmented. I definitely need more shades in this. I'm literally kind of taking that high. So I'm kind of blending it low as well. Oh my God, I love it. I love this color. It's exact, it's, it's, it's definitely a dupe for, it looks like Rose Latte, but a tiny bit pinker. Rose Latte runs more on the brown side, but this is gorgeous. So I'm literally getting comments while reading this on YouTube and someone said I changed my intro. No, that intro is only on Friday, so Sip and Slay. I've still got my din 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 intro, which I love. I'm actually going to use a product which I haven't used for ages. And this is the Pat McGrath. Um, what is this called? It's called the Fetish. What is it called? Oh, there's no name for it. Oh, it's called the Sublime Skin Highlight. So gorgeous. I'm going to use this shade. I actually haven't used this for the longest amount of times. So you can wet these and they look amazing on the skin. I'm gonna put some on the cheek. I'm not gonna use too much because I don't want, want it to be overly highlighted, but how gorgeous is that, guys? So pretty. You don't even need that much. And I love all three. You can use all three. One of them has a purple hue and one of them has a gold hue. I might put this on top, actually, just to see. See, it kind of intensifies it. Love this highlight. I actually forgot I had it until today. I love Pat McGrath. I cannot wait to see what else she comes out with. I do like her eyeshadows and stuff, but I prefer her complexion. I feel like sometimes her eyeshadows can be a bit more out of everyone's price range, especially now. I feel like I feel like everyone's buying her eyeshadows, but a hundred pound or hundred and twenty pounds for her eyeshadows very expensive. But you know what? The quality of her shadows is insane, and it's just luxury. So, and she is a luxury brand, so. I don't get where people complain. Okay, so I turned our girl here into a beauty spot and added some beauty spots. I've been loving doing that recently. So um, I was actually gonna use a Vanessa Marks on the lips, which I was excited about, but I'll leave that for another video because I've got a new product video to do anyway. But um, I wanted to just give a massive shout out to these lipsticks, which I did work with them on Instagram, but um, the colors they gave me were a bit light. So I asked them to send me some darker ones. And guys, these lipsticks are black owned. They're called Emmeline. They're an African heritage brand and all the names are Afro after African, you know, places. I had African continents, Afri African, you know, Oh, you know what I mean guys, um, it's that drink, that alcohol, but anyway, they're called Emmeline. Look at the packaging, so sickening. This is not sponsored guys. Look at that. So all you do to bring the lipstick down, you press this button here to bring down the um, packaging. It's so beautiful. My favorite one is called Morocco. So I'm going to use that. So um, they do, what's so amazing about this brand is, sorry, my top lip is sweating as normal. Um, they basically have in the lipstick, you can get the matching liner and the matching nail varnish. So they do a wardrobing, wardrobing concept. So for each color you buy, you get the matching liner, the matching nail varnish, which is genius. Um, I'll link them down below. Obviously this is not sponsored, but I just wanted to give a big shout out to them because I was meant to feature them in my last video, but I didn't have the right shades. But this is called Morocco and I've been loving it. It's kind of very similar to Gucci Mona Lisa Cameo very nude uh i don't have a black owned lip liner which i love which i i don't have anyway in general but um i used um the formula of these is so good i'm not sure if they ship to the us i think they do i'll leave um, the descriptions down below 
before we finish guys you know what i'm tempted to do i'm really tempted to put some gloss on this eye because that's what stacy did so my top lip get keeps sweating because alcohol always makes me hot but um i'm gonna put some gloss on the eye guys so this is the finished look with it obviously normal what do you guys think of the finished look i'm just gonna put it on top you can use any gloss but you know all the products i use were black owned so i'm gonna just yes it's just giving it that kind of wet look and this one isn't sticky it's the one from beauty blender so beauty blender is like a woman of color owned it's not black owned but she's been representing obviously her daughter's black her grandchildren are black so beauty blender we move like oh i love it it's giving it drama i feel like a bad bitch I feel like a video vixen i should be in pt pablo's pt pablo's video freak -a leak so um this is the finished look guys i am obsessed i really love it that Vanessa Myricks foundation, I need to get the full size now I know what shade I am. Um, definitely, I would definitely recommend you get all the sizes. Her powder is amazing. The Emily lipstick is amazing. Um, her uh, uh, Vanessa Myricks um, eye cream is incredible. What are they called again? These are called the Color Fix Mattes. I'm gonna use these again, but on the lips in another video, probably sometime next week or the week after. But um, I really like the look, like um, even the Pat McGrath concealer with um, the powder banking so now it's time for the giveaway so to win these goodies so i have a fenty chocolate cream bronzer i have um a mean money hustler baby highlighter rose latte cream blusher i've got a drama class cream blusher the purple one i have um fly pencil in black and i've also got what else have i got I've got all the blushes as well. I've got Petal Popping, Bikini Martini, and I've got Strawberry. So I've got all the popping blushes, which I said are my favorites, guys. So to win this, I'm gonna make it super easy. All you need to do is comment down below and say one positive thing about yourself. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you have to click the bell and make sure all notifications are on. That's all you need to do. Um, I'll be announcing the winner on next week, Wednesday's video. So you have to watch that video in order to know if you're gonna win because I'm not gonna be contacting y'all. You need to comment in the next week's video also, whoever wins, just so I can contact you. So you have to be notified and be watching my ne next week's video. So I'm gonna announce the winner in next week's video, okay? So all you need to do is comment down below a positive thing about yourself click the bell and make sure you're notified on my videos and obviously make sure you subscribed thank you guys for watching this video i hope it wasn't too long I really love this video i feel like it looks really really nice i really like this background actually it's making my skin look super gorgeous um i love you guys so much thank you so much for making me hit 30k i hope we can grow together more as a family um, i don't know what else to say i love you guys so much um obviously i'll be doing my sipping sipping slay every friday so make sure you stay tuned for that my next video will be on wednesday guys love you so much be safe be positive and be fabulous, period. <laughs>